who says, Raymond Wilson, reflect in God's glory. What a wonderful day God has given us that we can worship and praise and glorify the Son of the living God. We are thankful for the power of God. We're thankful for the breath of the Holy Spirit that breathes upon us that we might be able to rejoice and and enjoy the day that God has given to us. And I, I'm enjoying my salvation. And that's what I want to talk about this morning. And preach about and study about and think about and meditate about. And muse on the salvation that God has given to you and I. We're thankful for that salvation. We find in the book of Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. There was controversy between the elders and the scribes and the uh, lost people, the Romans, and they, they were all questioned in the authority of the Lord Jesus. And so we found a verse about the salvation of God. A lot of religion today, and a lot of idol worship, and a lot of different denominations of worship today. But there's only one God, and there's only one way to be saved and born in the family of God. And I'm glad the Lord laid this on our heart many years ago, that we might know that we know that we know we've been born in the family of God. A lot of questions still today, but God said in the latter days, perilous times would come. And we know they're here today, dangerous times, uh, people denying the faith. And we found in the book of Revelations where they... They've left their first love and they've fallen after doctrines of Baal and the ways of Jezebel and then even into the to the ways of a lukewarmness where they're having the form of worship but they're denying the power thereof. And so there's many ways and it's brought a lot of confusion. The devil is the deceiver and he deceives people about their salvation. But I'm glad I got a salvation that I can stand on and I can meditate on and I can rejoice in. And it's all because of the Lord Jesus. There's nothing that I can do to be born again. Nothing that I could work for. Nothing that I could pay. I couldn't pay the debt that I owe. The sin debt. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. I could not, <coughs> could not pay that. But the Lord Jesus paid that debt for me. That I might have eternal life. And it's for whosoever will. Any person that will come and call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we have some benefits of the salvation. So I want to talk this morning about the real salvation. And that's the only way. Jesus said, I am the door, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And that's the only way a person can be saved. So this is what Acts chapter 4 and verse 12 said. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. And so there's only one name. That's the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. With all the idols, it's confusing a lot of people today. But I'm glad my salvation doesn't depend on me. It doesn't depend on idols. It doesn't depend on a denomination. It depends on what he did on the cross of Calvary. He came, Emmanuel came, and was uh, manifest into the flesh that we might have a Savior today. Walked on the face of this earth, did many miracles. That's what they're fussing about in Acts chapter 12 because they're in Acts chapter 4 verse 12 where they're fussing about salvation and who gives Jesus the power to do that. He's God. God in the flesh. And He died on an old rugged cross, shed His blood that I might have eternal life. Shed His blood for whosoever will. Resurrected on the third day, ascended up to heaven, sat down at the right hand of God the Father in heaven, ever making intercession for my sins and your sins and my mistakes and your mistakes, that we might know that we have an advocate, the mercy of God. God placed the blood on the mercy seat in glory for our atonement. I've been redeemed by the blood, and I've been atoned by the blood, and daily I come before God. God forgive us of our daily sins, and we come short. But thank God for the advocate in heaven. Thank God for the high priest. Thank God the blood covers our sin. He said, I'll cover him as far as the east is from the west. said, I'll never remember him anymore. Bears him in the, as in the depths of the sea to never bring him up anymore. And I'm glad, thank God, day by day, I can live for God and walk for God and praise his holy name. Thank him about the reality of real salvation. Real salvation will redeem your soul. And we need a redemption for our soul. And God provided that for us. A lot of man-made religions, they, they can't conquer your soul. Uh, they may deceive your soul, but they can't conquer the Lord Jesus. He said the value 
of the soul. It, there's no way to measure that value of the soul of God because God has provided a way that I might have salvation, you might have salvation, and we can glorify the Lamb of God. I was redeemed by the precious blood of the Lamb of God many years ago when I bowed before God. Didn't understand all of it. Didn't understand the work of the Godhead when I bowed under that old pew that night and called on God and asked God to save me. All I knew was that I had heard the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And I heard the word of God. And then I crawled up under that pew and I asked God to save my old wretched soul. What he did was the Holy Ghost of God convicted me. I didn't understand conviction. I didn't understand why in the world that God uh, did all these things for me, but I didn't understand all of them. But God convicted me by the power of the Holy Spirit uh, and brought me down to my knees. And when he did, I called on the name of God. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. I heard the word of God, and then I called upon his name. I, and God said, if I just believe in my heart, God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And I called on him. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb of God, so we can praise him today and thank him and glorify him and lift him up. Shout a while, glorify God a while. Why? Because we've been redeemed by the blood of the blessed Lamb of God. Not only is real salvation will redeem your soul, but real salvation uh, uh, will bless your spirit. Uh, thank God we sometimes need the breath of God, uh, the blessings of the Holy Spirit, uh, and the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, when God gets a hold of my heart and my soul gets down in my feet, my feet start jumping, get in my knees, my knees start bowing down before Him, gets in my heart, and I feel the presence of God, the holiness of God. Oh, there's nothing any better than being in the presence of the Holy Ghost of God, being filled uh, uh, with the presence Knowing. He said, Be not drunk with wine, where is in excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit of God. God said, I'm going to give you unction, that unction, that anointing, that touch of God. Thank God for the Holy Spirit of God. He said, I'm sending the Holy Spirit back. He's going to fill you. He's going to anoint you. He's going to stir you. I love to get stirred up by the power of God and allow God to bless my heart and bless my soul. A real salvation will bless your soul and it'll touch your spirit uh, where you can rejoice in God. Somebody said, how hey, you know you say, I feel him down on the inside of my soul. Uh, I feel him in my spirit. Uh, my bones burn with the word of God. And I know that I know that I know that I've been saved and born into the family of God. Real salvation will secure your future. I'm glad I'm secure today. Uh, I'll never have to face hell. I'll never have to face Sheol. Never have to face that lake of fire. Why? Because Jesus paid it all on the gold cross of Calvary that I could be redeemed. Uh, and so I'm secure uh, in the future because God has made the way that I might know that I know that I've been saved and secured by the, the hand of God. So I know by the word of God that my future is in hope by the promises of God. God promised. He said, I'm going away. I'm going to send the Spirit of God back and I'm going away. But if I go away, I will come again today. We know Jesus is at the right hand of Father, but we're looking for him to come to catch us away. You said you really believe in the second coming of the Lord. I sure do. I, I believe one day the trumpet of God's going to sound. The dead in Christ shall rise for then you and I which are alive shall be caught up to ever be with God. Uh, the Bible said in John uh, as the Lord Jesus around the table uh, and they were worried because he was going to the old rugged cross and so he gave them encouraging words that he's going away but he'll come back he said let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again to receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also thank God God gave us a promise. He said, I'm going to the cross. I'm going to the tomb. I'm going up into the glory by the power of God. 
and I'm coming back. I'm looking for him to come. God gave us promise after promise through the word of God that he would come. Uh, give us a picture of what heaven's all about. Revelation chapter 4, chapter 5, where he said, I saw a door in heaven. John uh, filled with the Holy Ghost of God, inspired by God. Uh, and he looked up into that third heaven and he said, I saw a door open. I, I had one set on there like a jasper, a sardine stone. Uh, and the rainbow, the green emerald rainbow around the throne of God's glory. He said, I saw elders there and they were worshiping. They were praising God. They were glorifying God and they were hollering, worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb of God. Angelic beings all around the, the throne of God's glory and they're crying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. And you and I, one day when we see this picture in our mind, know that we're secure in the hands of God and one glorious day God said it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know when he comes we shall be like him God will give to you and I a brand new body this old body will fade away this old body will be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye and God will give us a brand new body an eternal body a celestial body a body that will glorify the Lamb of God a pure body God said I'm going to give you a future. A real salvation will secure your future so you'll know that you can spend eternity in heaven. Death doesn't bother me. I'm just looking for the Lord to come. I, I want to stay here with my family as long as I can, but I'm looking forward to that day when God will catch us up and we'll ever be with him throughout all eternity. Uh, eternal security. A real salvation will secure your future and a real salvation We'll forget about your pain. Oh, when I found out all them sins that I did in my lost condition, uh, when I found out uh, I let God had buried those as in the depths of the sea and he forgot about those, boy, I rejoiced. I shouted, I said, thank God he don't remember those anymore. Thank God he put them under the blood of the Lamb of God uh, that I can rejoice. And I can say, thank God. An idol can't put those sins under the blood. Uh, an idol can't uh, save you like God can, but the Lord Jesus Christ is alive forevermore. Thank God he lives today and because he lives I can live today and I can rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. I can rejoice with a peace that will pass all understanding why all of my sins have been buried. Yesterday's sins have been buried because I came before God and I said Lord God I'm sorry for where I failed and God through the mercies of God, I said, I shed blood uh, and that you might be uh, in a position where your sins can be forgiven. Uh, and so I cried out before God. I named my sin one by one. Uh, and I said, Lord, please forgive me where I failed. Uh, and God washed me up, sanctified me, justified me, and gave me the uh, liberty and the privilege to call upon his name uh, that I might know my sins are forgotten. Uh, he'll never bring them up and I'm glad thank God they're under the blood of the Lamb of God today uh, and so God said we have a salvation real salvation we'll forget about your pie I may bring it up other people may bring it up a lot of people bring up my pie but God said I don't remember it not because he's a forgetful God but because he chose to forget my sins. Uh, and for that, oh, I give him praise this morning. And thank God he forgot about my past. Uh, and then uh, real salvation will change your lifestyle. God forgot about my past. Uh, There's a lot of things I was doing that I shouldn't been uh, doing. But God uh, said, I'm going to give you a new lifestyle. Uh, thank God uh, uh, when he brought us in uh, to the family of God. Uh, I didn't know how to sup with God. I didn't know how to talk with God. I didn't know how to bow down uh, and pray. Uh, I didn't know how to read and study and learn the Word of God. But God said, I'm going to give you some principle. Jesus fulfilled all the laws in the Old Testament, all the ceremonial laws. I don't have to bring a turtle dove. Uh, I don't have to bring a lamb. Uh, but God said he provided a way uh, that we might have salvation. Uh, but he changed my lifestyle. Things that I was doing, things that I was saying, uh, things and habits that I had, uh, God helped me to overcome those. Uh, you can't overcome them on your own. Uh, you'll need the power of God to help you to overcome those things in our life. Thank God he changed my, my lifestyle and then he humbled my heart. Real salvation will humble your heart. 
Your salvation will bring you down to the place where you just cry out before God. God has said, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way, God said, then will I hear from heaven and then will I heal their land. Oh, our country's in bad shape, but thank God, God made a way. Our country can overcome if God's people will pray and unite together and call upon God and say, Lord, we're sorry. God, we want our country to revive. Our forefathers fought for this land. Give us liberty. Give us death. They died that we might have the freedom today to worship and praise God and glorify Him. Humble our heart before God. And then real salvation will rapture our body. One day we'll leave this old world. We'll be in the very presence of an almighty and an old sovereign God. Aren't you glad you're saved, born in the family of God? What real salvation salvation can do for your soul. I'm glad today that God loved me enough that he died on that old rugged cross that I might be saved more than a family of God. Love him today and I thank God. Find your place somewhere if you haven't been saved. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Real salvation is available for whosoever will in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We do humbly pray.